Good morning, everyone, from my favorite city in all of Zhejiang province. I am in Wenzhou again. You guys may have seen I spent a lot of time in Wenzhou during my 2,000 kilometer bike tour around Zhejiang, and I just couldn't get enough of it. I had a work assignment here yesterday, and I'm just taking a little bit of extra time this morning to show you guys around the old alleyways of Wenzhou. Yeah. Something I love about these old streets in Wenzhou is that sometimes you're just walking along, it looks like your average boring little street, and then suddenly there is a temple right there. So just the fact that this is here in this very unassuming alley with a wall, like just a couple meters away from it, should tell you how dime a dozen beautiful architecture is in the old streets of Wenzhou. Because if they had this thing in Hanzhou, they'd have like a whole yard in front of it, you know, they'd have it out on display where everyone going by can see it. And in Wenzhou, there's literally so much beautiful architecture like this that they're just like, ah, whatever. I mean, look at this place, just in the most random little city alley. I didn't search this on the map. I wasn't looking for it. I didn't even know it was here. And then just walking along and then boom, there's a temple. So that's why I love exploring old Wenzhou so much. Yes, the new part of the city is also very beautiful. It's very modern, it's very nice, but I just cannot get enough of these little alleyways. They're so cool. Someone's collecting recyclables with a little bell. So you know he's coming and you'll come and bring your recyclables. This is what here we have another unassuming alleyway and a big temple right behind me, even bigger than the previous one. We have this beautiful temple here and then underneath it is literally a wheel factory. If you're coming here from like another part of China, it's like, whoa, like that's such a beautiful building. How do they have a wheel factory under? But they just do. Oh no, the street I was supposed to be going down has already been demolished. Oh, never mind. Apparently you can still go through it. You just gotta be a little bit adventurous. Looks like they're building a road through here or something road-like. America. <laughs> Apparently there's like a procession of something going by. Like I haven't quite figured out what it is. Something about dragons? I really don't know. Today Oh, I don't know. Oh, I feel so stupid. I cannot figure out what this thing is that's happening at the park. Everybody's so excited about it and they're like, you gotta go see the thing. And then I'm like, what is it though? I just have no idea what's going on, but whatever it is, I don't want to miss it. So heading over there to see. Mm -hmm. 
these flags are just going on and on and on and on all the way down the street. If you're wondering why these back alleys are so quiet compared to my last visit to Wenjo, well, that's because everyone is in the street preparing for the dragon. This is what? The dragon? Is that the dragon coming? No, it's not coming. Definitely not gonna leave until I see that dragon because I've been seeing like little scraps of this event all day long, but I just haven't figured out like what is it? Does it get any long to the mass? I'm kind of curious if people are just taking their own creative liberties with this or if there's like a super set menu of things the dragon has to have. Wow. This one's fancy. So it seems that the pig head is definitely a central item. The pig head and the flower pigs. Aside from all the food, they've also got some cigarettes for the dragon. And these are not your average cigarettes. These are the fancy cigarettes. The dragon has a very fancy taste. <laughs> There's like a meaning behind every single thing on this table, so it's like so much thought and effort goes into this. Apparently, the things out on this table here aren't offerings for the dragon. They're just stuff from everybody's house for everyone to come by and admire, just to add to the festive atmosphere. Here's another one of my favorites, a whole handmade clay set of the characters from Journey to the West. I absolutely love the contrast between the different types of stuff on display. This clay eel out here next to these fancy traditional sculptures. A clay crab, and then these fancy traditional sculptures. <laughs> and here we have the most beautiful creation out of everything on this table, today's sponsor, NordVPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and it encrypts your online traffic. This is especially important when you're using public Wi-Fi where it is extra easy for people to get access to your sensitive and important information. Nord also has a few other features, for example, threat protection, where it can identify a malicious file or link before you open it. NordPass Password Manager also creates strong passwords for you and it stores them and fills them in on your behalf. So gone are the days of forgetting your password and trying to figure out where you wrote it down and now you gotta figure out how to make a new one. Those days are over. However, it's not just about internet safety. NordVPN offers over 5,900 different servers in 60 countries, so you can access all kinds of media and websites that are blocked in your own country. Nord is also constantly upgrading its server network and investing in better and better software, and it is paying off. In the year 2023, Nord was ranked the fastest VPN on the market. NordVPN is running a Christmas deal where you can get a huge discount when you purchase a two-year plan plus four extra months. If you guys are interested, click the link below. And now let's get back to waiting for the dragon. And right behind me here, we have another table covered in people's random knickknacks. Like this tree made out of sticks and popcorn. Someone's old coin collection. Firecrackers are being rolled out in every possible corner and side of the road. So it is going to be so loud when that dragon comes through here. Hello. Hello. This is what? For the dragon to wash his hands? Yes, yes, yes. Wash his hands. Yes. Squids, stingrays, 
piles of seaweed. There definitely is a standardized menu for the dragon, and then you can take some slight creative liberties. <笑>你好 so I finally figured out what this is. All of the major family clans here hold this event every 20 years, and then the young people that were born over those two decades, their names are officially added to the family clan records. A really fancy chair here for, not sure who, for someone. Apparently no one's gonna sit in it, it's just here for the vibes. and there's just more and more banners and more and more tables and where is the dragon? I know it already has started on its thing because I heard firecrackers going off so it's out here somewhere. Look at this, they even have a lineup of fancy cars with red ribbons on the front just like a wedding but it's not a wedding it is the procession of the dragon. The car and ribbon combination is very versatile. Oh it's coming! I see it! Here it comes. Despite having lived in China for five years in several different cities, this is actually my first time ever seeing a dragon dance. China is a massive country with a lot of different regional traditions. Dragon and lion dances are most common in the southeast in places such as Wenzhou. 
This is definitely a place with very rich cultural traditions. And despite all the asking around today that I did, I only barely scratched the surface of what today's event was all about. Hopefully I can learn more another time and it probably won't be 20 years from now since there are several other family clans around here other than the young. Anyway, I've got a train to catch, so that's all for today everyone, and see you in the next video.